Hello and welcome to my classroom. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps you will take to complete your practice data for the biodiversity project. This will provide you with an opportunity to observe an arthropod in the wild, contribute to the iNaturalist community, and document your findings for the project. This is to ensure that you understand the steps that you will take in the future to acquire ground truth points at each of your study locations. For the biodiversity project this year, you will not be collecting specimens, but taking detailed images and descriptions. First, I would download the iNaturalist application to your mobile device so that you can upload your specimen from the field. However, you can also upload them at a later time and after identification. You will need to locate a specimen, which might be a little challenging. Be patient and stir up the earth a bit to get things moving. Once you find the coolest arthropod in the park, you are going to want to take three images. Ensure that they are at different angles and not just the same image three times. This will help you, me, and the iNaturalist community identify the unknown. For this practice, you will only need to locate a single specimen and you can obtain this at your park or at an area closer to your home. However, for the actual submission, please ensure that you observe two different specimens, not two different ants. Next, you will submit your observation via iNaturalist. You can do this using the mobile or desktop application. I will explain how to use the mobile application, but if you need help with the desktop version, feel free to reach out. You are going to want to click Observe. Then, select where the images are located or being produced. Are you going to take them with the application or upload them from your phone? Lastly, you will need to provide details about your collection. The what did you see section is extremely helpful in identifying your specimen. You can also provide details for you and the public to confirm the identification. Select the date. For the location, you can, you can have your mobile device find your location if you are in the field. If you are submitting after observation, the desktop application is easier because you can provide the exact latitude and longitude coordinates. For geo privacy, please select obscure. This ensures that the exact location of collection is not revealed. If you are observing this specimen rather close to your home, please select private so that your location is not disclosed to the public. Lastly, make sure to upload it to the Planet Earth Project Group so that I can access it for grading. In addition to iNaturalist, you will need to record your observation in your project notebook as one, a data table, and two, an illustration. The table should be on page four or five. It should appear just like this, including the park name, collection date, order, location, and description. Here is an example of a completed data table. Ensure that you come back and write the actual name of the specimen once it has been officially identified. Your illustration will appear on page six. It can consist of a printed out image or a detailed scientific drawing. No matter which you choose, it must also include the order, park, and date of collection. You have now finished your practice data collection and prepared and are prepared to collect your first ground truth sample. Thanks for tuning in.